Hi everyone, so another video, this time on integration, and this is the last section of integration, well apart from volume by rotation, but integration by parts and integration by substitution really are kind of the end of our integration phase, so we've done quite a lot so far, and now we're going to add to it. So, what is integration by parts? Well, what integration by parts does is it takes a product, so two functions times together that are being integrated. So, for example, um, x cos x dx, for example. You know, our normal, our normal approach for a product would be to look out for a reverse chain rule, wouldn't it? So, is it a reverse chain rule? No, because the derivative of this is not uh, x, is it? It's minus sine x. So, we can't use our reverse chain rule. So what we have is a product which we need to break into parts which we can integrate, hence the phrase integration by parts. And I've also used the phrase product. So remember the objective of by parts is to break integrals into parts that we can integrate. Now how does that work? <clears throat> and remember this only a what we're looking for is products, yeah? So this is for products. So again, if you in your differentiation you're finding it difficult to apply the product rule, it's because you're not recognizing it's a product. One function times another function. It's just the same with integration. If you can't recognize a product, you're not going to know which method to use, and therefore you're not going to be able to integrate it. But let's just quickly see where the proof comes from, because the integration by parts formula, which you do need to know, is that if you are integrating, <coughs> uh, if you're integrating uv dash, okay, that will come out as uv minus u dash v dx, okay, and u dash and v dash means dv by dx or du by dx, for instance, okay. So this is your integration by parts formula which you need to remember just this right hand side really because this already is saying that we have a product uh, involved two functions times each other let's just quickly see the proof of where that comes from then so we know from the product rule that well uv all dash or in other words if you differentiate uv with respect to x, that's what uv all dash means, yeah? I'm going to use this as shorthand. We know that that's the same as uv dash plus vu dash, don't we? Or u dv by dx plus v du by dx, do you see? How do we get from here, though, to here? Well, let's do it. We need to go... We know what we're trying to find, this uv dash. So if we make uv dash the subject, so uv dash is uv all differentiated minus vu dash then, yeah? If we make that the subject, if we now integrate both sides with respect to x minus vu dash dx, yeah? We're nearly there, aren't we? Because let's think about it. Think about what this means. This means the differential of uv integrated again, doesn't it? U dash v dx. So if you differentiate uv and then integrate it again, you're back to what you started with, which was just uv. Can you see? Hopefully you can see what's going on here. And that's where the bypass formula comes from. It just comes from rearranging the product rule and then integrating everything. And remember, U da UV all differentiated. If you integrate it again, it's just like doing an inverse. So <clears throat> when can we apply it? Well, when we've got products, like we've said. So let's just rewrite our formula again. So we know that V dash U is the same as uv minus u dash v dx yeah there's our formula if we know our formula we can start working with this thing and what we want to recognize though is what to pick as u 
and what to pick as v. So I've got this integral here. Okay. What starts as u and what starts as v dash, sorry. Well, the u is the thing that's going to be required to be differentiated again, to break down again. Yeah. So we want a function. We want to pick u as being the function that's going to break down into something, break down into parts that we can do something with. So if I pick u as x, okay, and dv, like, so dv by dx or v dash, if I pick u dash, v dash, sorry, to be the other function, so cos 3x, can you see that if I differentiate u, so u dash, I'm filling in this section, so I need to know what the differential of u is, that's 1. And can you see if I want to get v from v dash, I need to integrate both sides, don't I? So I know that the integral of cos 3x is sine 3x with the third. Quick differential, quickly differentiate and see that that does match. Yes, it does. And now I can literally just fill in my ingredients. So uv the first part of the formula, uv. So a third x sine 3x, yeah? Minus, now u dash v, as per the formula. So integral u dash is 1, a third sine 3x. Do you see how it's broken it down into something that we can deal with? We know how to integrate a third sine 3x, easy. So third x sine 3x minus 1 over 9 cos 3x plus c, quickly differentiate that to, uh, to check, cos goes to minus sine, so therefore this one must be a plus, yeah? So note what would have happened if we picked u as cos 3x and v dash as x. It's completely inappropriate because u dash is going to give me minus 3 sine 3x, that hasn't broken anything down. And if I integrate x, I get half x squared. Yeah? It hasn't helped me whatsoever. Some of you may be thinking, why don't I put a plus c here? Well, we don't need to because the actual integration constant is already accounted for right at the end with the plus c. And you'd just be adding up plus c, plus d, plus e, and it would all just amalgamate into one single constant. Okay? So hopefully you can see what u needs to be. U can't be functions that don't break down to anything. U has to be something that we can break down. So something to do with x or x squared or what you'll see in a minute must be learned as well. So let's take this second example. So i is 4x squared e to the 2x dx. It's a product. So my first thought is is it reverse chain rule? Remember, reverse chain rule is the quickest and easiest, so I think that first. Is it reverse chain rule? No, because e to the f of x, if you differentiate f of x, you get 2, not 4x squared. You get nothing to do with x. So this is a product. I can't use reverse chain, so it must be by parts. So quickly quote the formula, u dash v, yeah? And now we can start using it. So what should u be? Well, u should be the thing that's going to break. e to the 2x, is that going to break? No, because e to the 2x is just going to differentiate to 2e to the 2x, isn't it? So it's e f of x goes to f dash of x e to the f of x. It's not going to help me. But if I pick u as being 4x squared and differentiate that, then that breaks down to 8x. Already something is broken down into something more manageable. If I pick v dash then equal to 2x, if we integrate that, that's e to the f of x again, and then quick differential to check. You'll see the 2 comes out, so the half comes here. So now we can fill in our ingredients, u, v, u, v. So 4x squared times half e to the 2x. Always minus, minus the integral u dash v. So 8x times a half e to the 2x dx. Let's just clean that up. So that's 2x squared e to the 2x subtract. 8 times a half is 4x e to the 2x dx. So I'm back 
with another product here. Is it reverse chain? That's always my first thought. 2x differentiates to 2, I've got 4x though, so no, but I do have a product. So therefore, you guessed it folks, it's by parts again. So always pick you as the breakable object. 4x can break down to 4, do you see? e to the 2x will never break, so I have to integrate that one. <coughs> and now we're back to 2x squared e to the 2x. Now this is where people screw up. So the minus stays, big brackets, big brackets, then use your biparts formula. So uv, uv, so 4x times half e to the 2x minus, always minus, u dash v, so 4 and then the half here. So 4 half e to the 2x dx. So this gives me 2x squared, e to the 2x, subtract, just multiplying that out, so 4x times a half is 2, so subtract 2x, e to the 2x, minus, minus, now makes a plus the integral of 2e to the 2x dx. Do you see? Take your time. People always screw up the minus signs. And now, is this a product? No. 2 is just a constant. Does e to the 2x differentiate to 2? Yes. So, sorry, does 2x differentiate to Yes. So to me, that's a clear reverse chain rule with e to the f of x. Plus c, quick differential to check. Does the 2 come out? Yes, it does. And we're happy. Yeah? Okay, last example. Last example. So I'm integrating ln of x this time. Now it doesn't look like I've got a product here, so I'm not thinking reverse chain rule, but I don't know anything which, nothing differentiates to ln. And remember we're always trying to, with all integration, we're trying to get it to look like something on the right hand side of our differentiation table so we can bring it back to y, yeah? That's how it works. Ln is not on our right hand side. We can't do anything with ln. Except we can. Of course we can. Because this is maths. What you need to do is, you can't do ln without by parts. So ln is always, always by parts. Always. And because you can't integrate ln, ln is always u. Always. So if you see something to do with ln, you instantly think by parts and u is the stuff to do with ln. Okay, so quickly quote the formula v dash u, that's uv minus, always minus, um, <coughs> vu dash. Yeah? Okay, clean that up. Right, so where's the product then? Which one's u and which one's v? If I'm saying this always has to be u, where's v? Well, v not v, sorry, v dash, remember it's v dash, not v, v dash must be this silent one, the secret one next to lin, yeah? <clears throat> because it's one times lin. So if we make u lin and differentiate it, that's one over x, you see it's broken down to something. v dash is one, and v integrates just to x. So now we can use our formula, v dash u dx equals uv, u is ln x times v is x, so x ln x, minus, always minus, and now v u dash, so v u dash, x times 1 over x, see how nice and simple this is now, so x ln x minus x over x is 1, and now you're just integrating 1, x ln x minus x plus c, and there we go, we're happy, so let's be really clear, by parts is only when you have ln. Uh, <clears throat> so, you know, if you see a ln, you're instantly going by parts, where u is the ln thing. Otherwise, it's products, breaking products that we couldn't break using reverse chain rule. Reverse chain rule first, can't do it, fine. I've got a product, must be by parts. Okay. <clears throat>